Hello and welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. I am Wasbir Hussain. After the sports persons, it is the filmmakers who have made the Notice proud. Yes, I am talking about Asimus filmmaker Rima Das's village rock stars that backed the Swarna Kamal or the Golden Lotus as the best Indian feature film at the 65th rather National Film Awards announced a few days ago. All the more reason to celebrate because the Swarnakamal has come a Sam's way after 30 years. The last time a film from a Sam backed the Swarnakamal was Janu Barwa's Halodhya Sorai Baudhan Kai, and that was in 1989. Cinema in the Northeast has been passing through challenging times. In Assam, Asmis cinema had generally become an unviable market proposition because the theater chains go for the big Bollywood religious every week and do not really fancy screening the odd Asmis films that, that Gates released. And the state does not have enough small or medium-sized cinema halls where local films can be screened. Therefore, it is not a level playing field at all and the government is not doing enough, although it can actually do a lot. In other states ex in the region, except in Manipur, local cinema is still at a nascent stage. In states like Nagaland or Manipur, among the trends is to watch foreign films, mostly Korean films. What is the problem? Is this the language issue? Can films be made in English or Hindi in Arunachal or Nagaland where every tribe speaks a different dialect? What about Mizoram where Mijo is the dominant language? Is there a need to have something called Northeast Indian cinema? After all, Asmi cinema cannot or does not represent Northeastern cinema as a whole. That's because Assam is just one of the eight Northeastern states. Well, answers need to be found to all these questions and more. Before we begin the discussions, let us take a look at this special report. Village rock stars and Asmi's film made by Reema Das, an untrained but extremely sensitive filmmaker with a near total rookie cast. But wait a minute. This film was adjudged the country's best feature film in the 65th National Film Awards 2018, announced a few days back. Yes, Village Rockstars backed the Swarnakamal or the Golden Lotus, and it is after 30 years that an Assamese film has backed one of Indian cinema's most coveted awards. All your characters were absolutely uh, village boys and girls. Yes. They were absolutely untrained. Yeah. Uh, was it a big challenge? Yeah, it, it is a big challenge, mm -hmm. of course, like, and when I, because I didn't have that fund, I was doing my first film already, so I decided to go alone with the help of one of my cousin, Mallika Das. So doing everything was difficult, of course, uh, but uh, I took that challenge. What is the inner message that you want to portray in this, uh, through this Village Rock Stars, that movie? Uh, my main message is like a possibility to dream whatever background you are and maybe we are not born as a like we, we maybe have limited resources in life yeah. but you, if you have dream then you can reach your uh, dream goal. like you can, you can goal, achieve, your yeah, goal. achieve your vision. The last time a film from Assam backed the Swarnakamal was Janavurwa's Halodhya Sorai Baudhan Khai. The award has made not just Assam but the entire Northeast proud. Assam has an 83 year old cinematic history. It was in 1935 that the iconic Jyoti Prashad Agarwala released his film Joy Moti. Marking the start of Assamese cinema. Remember, this was just four years after the first sound film in India, Alamara by Ardeshir Irani, was made. Ever since, Assamese cinema has seen both glory days as well as really bleak period. There has been a turnaround in the past few years, and Village Rock Stars is certainly a part of this turnaround. It could well be the turning point of Assamese cinema as a whole. 
If nothing, the latest Swarnakamal can inspire filmmakers from Northeast to aspire to reach the top. All right, to discuss this issue in an otherwise happy moment, I am joined by ace filmmaker Janu Borwa. I also have Kopil Bora and Jerifa Wahid, two of Assam's most versatile actors. I am also joined by another filmmaker from Assam, Deep Chaudhary, whose film Alifa was a just the best debut film of a director at last year's National Film Awards. That was also, of course, a Swanakamal. And from Imphal, I am joined by Bobo Kuraizam, an award-winning filmmaker, and Ningtoza Lancha, also a filmmaker. First of all, I'd like to go straight to Janu Barwa. Uh, Mr. Janu Barwa, welcome to Notice Live. A very happy moment for uh, Assam with village rock stars uh, bagging the Swarna Kamal or the Golden Lotus. Obviously, you have a lot to say. After all, it has been come to Assam after 30 years, which of from Hello Dia Soraya Baudhan Kai. That was the first film to have bagged this most coveted award, the Swarna Kamal. Mr. Janu Barwa. Yeah, first impression is I'm very happy, happy about it. Uh, happy for uh, <coughs> Rima, happy for uh, Village Rockstars, and happy for uh, Asimis Cinema. And uh, <coughs> that's it, you know, but it's a very welcoming uh, kind of feeling, actually, I have uh, I felt. And uh, I would say that, you know, it would definitely kind of uh, encouragement which is required right. uh, for the younger talents. Uh, it will definitely uh, <coughs> inspire them, all the younger talents. And uh, I just want to add something here. Yeah. Uh, about uh, regarding ASME cinema in general. Uh, just now we have, uh, we have said that, you know, that two, uh, so far, the two Swarna Kamals for SMS cinema, in the entire history of uh, SMS cinema. So <coughs> that uh, actually, in a way, actually that we, sometimes it gives a little uh, negative feeling that we have not been able to do much. Huh? To my opinion, actually it's not so. Uh, there have been a lot of good films have been made. Yeah. So I always feel that, you know, uh, the landmarks of in any, in SMS cinema particularly, we should not be, you know, assessing the progress, the landmarks, on the basis of the, such awards. Right. There, there have been very, very good films. Uh, in my opinion, that there, even before Haludia, uh, whatever I have seen, whatever I have seen, a uh, uh, few films, and they are really f fantastic films, uh, classics, uh, classics. Uh, for example, that uh, whatever I have seen. Uh, for example, Prabhat Mukherjee's Puberun. Uh, that's it, I mean, the, it was uh, way back in uh, uh, 1959 or 60s. I, I, I don't remember. But uh, <coughs> and then uh, Ganga Siloni Paki, Padum uh, was and then uh, Dr. Bhavendranath Saikya's Agni Snan. They are, uh, I mean, really, uh, I mean, uh, landmarks in Asmi cinema. They're almost like uh, getting each of them getting yes. a Swarna Kamals. True. So that is what actually I always feel that you know they are, and in a in a way, uh, if not <coughs> say they are very much at par with uh, Swarna Kamal winners, if not better. That's a very important uh, point you <coughs> are making. So uh, keeping that in mind, uh, there have been a lot of good films even after Helodia, uh, uh, in between before uh, Village Rockstars. There are fantastic, some good films are being made in this uh, state. Uh, and then recently I've seen one film, I must mention that, that is Joy uh, <coughs> uh, Cheng uh, Duhotia's film, uh, Bhandok. It's a superb film, superb film. Actually, the, although these films, each of them, they have not got, the, got any Shonakamal, but uh, cinematically, they are, each one is unique. So those things are the, yeah, these are the, these are the films actually we should always remember. Apart from, <coughs> yeah, along with, along with Halodia and uh, Village Rockstars. Absolutely, that's a very important point you have made, uh, Mr. Janu Borwa, that Swarna Kamal is fantastic, but that cannot alone be the yardstick 
of good films. Uh, I, will, I will come to you, but uh, 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 Mr. Chandubarwa, again, we know about the state of affairs as far as Asmith Cinema is concerned. My question to you, is there a case for something called Northeast Cinema as a grouping and the government in the region backing it up? Because we always say that, oh, there is Northeast, uh, it's, it's a single entity. Similarly, by the same logic, is there a case for something called Northeast Cinema and the governments in the eight states backing it up? Or do you think it's a funny idea? Uh, I don't think it will be a good idea. Actually, it's not a good idea because uh, Northeast is, you know, that uh, is so versatile. So each state have, uh, has a different culture. I mean, the, that we are culturally different. But at the same time, uh, <coughs> there are certain similarities are there. But that doesn't mean that we can, we need, we can club together. Uh, so as a result, in, a, in the past also, I have been opposing this, this kind of move, uh, um, this kind of move, because the rest of India always try to club uh, Northeast in one fold. So that is not, uh, I, I don't think it's a good thing to do. Because Absolutely. That when you uh, club, and there are a lot of, uh, you know, obligations come in. And then, see, if cinema, being, uh, cinema being a creative process, creative thought process, and they need to, each, of, each thought needs to flourish individually. So that is how actually that uh, I look at it. Right, right. Uh, Mr. Janu Barwa, uh, stay with us. Uh, I have a lot of questions to ask you. Uh, uh, Kapil, that's a very interesting point which uh, Mr. Janu Barwa is making, isn't it? Swarna Kamal is fantastic. First of all, uh, before asking you to react to this, what are your thoughts of village rock stars winning the Swarna Kamal or the Golden Lotus after 30 years? The moment I got the news, I was so... I was over the moon, I think. I, I, I felt that I was a part of the cast or crew and... I felt this was one film which I'm part of and I was so happy and elated and I was calling people, I was WhatsApping people and this is happening yeah. after 33 decades and I also WhatsApped Reema though I don't know her personally. Mm -hmm. So it was a very happy moment for me because we need these kind of encouragements yeah. and push for the film industry to uh, survive. For instance, even in Deep's case, Deep Chaudhary's case, uh, the Swarna Kamal that an Assamese got after uh, 20 years, Bidu Chakrabarti was the last Bidu, first, uh, he's a legendary filmmaker, Bidu Chakrabarti. He got it for Rag Birag, then yeah. after him, uh, it was deep. So it was again a historic moment. So these Absolutely. are very historic moments and these are moments of encouragement and push for filmmakers, young filmmakers, and for everyone associated with True. Asami cinema. Absolutely. I'll come to your reaction to what Januda said, but before that, uh, Jerifa, your opening remarks. Uh, Fantastic moment for Assam, Assam is cinema particularly. Yes, we were we were so very happy and it was like the whole day we discussed about, you know, Rima's yeah. achievement and we were so happy about Deep Chaudhary's achievement and, uh, you know, this this brings a ray of hope to all of us and the future, for the future of Assam is cinema or cinema from this part of the mm -hmm. region actually because we need this kind of filmmakers who can have, who can cater to a global audience. You know, cinema should not be confined yeah. to our region, it should go to the world speak mm -hmm. about us mm -hmm. show us you know it is yeah. like it's, so not it's just back to back almost yeah. you know last year uh, as you mentioned last year it was deep chaudhary's film which uh, he was the best uh, debut director for uh, for his debut film yeah. best director for his debut film yeah. and this year uh, it was the swarna kamal for yeah. uh, rima das's uh, village rock stars jerifa right. right so that is the reason of why we were more happy not on a, just on a personal front but we were happy for cinema in general because cinema we have in general. such a rich heritage Absolutely. of uh, you know cinema history mm -hmm. in Assam right. and then we need these kind of filmmakers to you know take it forward and that is something that we always look for and absolutely we, we have heard the two versatile actors the two of the most popular actors deep what how does uh, uh, do you look at it as a filmmaker and having yourself made a mark with your very first film deep uh, what thoughts crossed your <clears> mind <throat> when you first heard about uh, 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 village rock stars First of all, uh, I would like to congratulate her because uh, you know I I met her two three times and Rima Das. Yeah, Rima Das. She's yes. a fantastic lady, uh, and uh, uh, the dedication she put in her project was fabulous. I Absolutely. Mean, uh, you know, she took it her on stride and you know uh, invested her three years of her you know career and you know yeah. did it uh, perfectly fantastic, perfectly yeah. uh, done it, and uh, you know. Uh, this is the, I would say that this is a victory of independent cinema in true sense. Yes, yes. 
because uh, how did she you know uh, you know with two three crews i guess uh, with her uh, yeah. you know, sister and health. she was herself on train yeah. yeah so for that purpose i mean this is this is really unique in nature altogether in indian cinema i mean Rima it hasn't was on happened my show. in rima was a one man army yeah. uh, of course almost yeah. I will, I will, I will come back. This is just the beginning of the discussion. There are a lot to discuss. Uh, let me go to Bobo Khuraizam. Uh, Bobo Khuraizam in Imphal. Bobo is a very, very. Uh, uh, I mean, he's a very versatile documentary filmmaker. Bobo Khuraizam, welcome. Bobo Khuraizam's uh, film Ima Sabitri uh, backed the Satyajit Ray Golden Award for the best documentary film in the first. South Asian Short Film Fest in 2018. In fact, you are not even one week old with your own award, Bobo. How do you feel about Village Rock Stars? Uh, I feel great. Uh, I would say uh, the Village Rock Star is rocking the nation, in fact. Uh, it's a broad moment for not only for the ASMS film, but also for uh, filmmakers across the country because uh, Rima Das is someone who has started from scratch and she is someone who is not really trained. Uh, uh, a few days back I just uh, happened to watch uh, the show, I mean one of the interviews taken by you with Rima Das and uh -huh. uh, I was really so impressed. Uh, I mean how uh, passionate and how someone who is not really trained in cinema could make a film so impactful. Uh, not only winning the national award, but her film has traveled across the globe. Absolutely, and, uh, I haven't Absolutely. told it was open. Uh, it was premiered in the Tor in Toronto. Toronto, one of the yeah. one of the no, prestigious Bobo, Bobo, you uh, see, film festivals across the globe. These kind of people, uh, these kind really of Bobo, these kind of films, these kind of filmmakers uh, can be real ambassadors of the northeast, not just across India, but globally, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because uh, I myself is also an ind independent filmmaker. Uh, the kind of inspiration she has given to the to our community is immense, really immense. Absolutely. So we are really, really proud of her, and uh, we look forward to uh, having more and more uh, meaningful films from uh, the northeast. Uh, though I fully agree with my my my, my deepest regard to Sir Janu Barwa, uh, I would rather agree with him that. Uh, we, we can't yeah. club the Nordist as a Nordist cinema. You know, we have different cultures. It's a mosaic of yes, cultures. Yes, you cannot, uh, cannot, in Manipur, cannot we have club so many communities. Cannot have a yeah. genre called Nordist cinema yes. because I, I we have believe, our own diversity. We have our own different distinct stories to tell. I'll come back to you, Bobo. Yes. Uh, Mr. Janu Barua, uh, at the end of the day, how much people watch cinema from Assam or other parts of the Nordist that is extremely important. My question to you, how can you increase the reach or viewership of films from Assam or the region. After all, our stories must be heard by the rest of India, isn't it? Mr. Janu Barwa. It's a worrying factor, but uh, considering the you know, situation we, ha we are in, say for example, uh, each uh, uh, state, I mean, the, they have their own industry, film industry, like say in Assam or Meghalaya or Manipur. So, uh, cinema industry uh, being a very expensive industry, an expensive medium, and uh, it it always you know such an industry always uh, depends on a market. Yeah. And markets are very small, so we have this problem. So there actually we we always uh, we have been telling that these local governments need to come forward uh, to extend support to, his, <coughs> to local each, governments. Uh, filmmaker. Role of and, the government. Uh, that's how that this, such a uh, you know uh, industry would survive. Yeah. Plus, uh, plus we need to make a, a, a different kind of system. We create create different kind of system so that you know, it is uh, these films are well distributed within the state, within the within the state within the this uh, region, and uh, there I think I think we have not done much. That is why the uh, yeah, films are suffering. We have a lot to do there. Our governments also have a lot to do. Kapil, Janubarwa was making this very important point, saying that Swarna Kamals are great. It has come, he, he was the, his film, Hello Dear Sorai About on Kyo, The Catastrophe, uh, was the first film to get Swarna Kamal in Assam's 83 year old history of cinema. Now, today we have a second film with uh, Rima Das's uh, Village Rockstars. My, and, but he said that Swarna Kamals are great, fine, 
but that cannot be the only yardstick. Uh, I think that's a very important point because he also, uh, we also have great films, uh, you know, like Hagar Le Bohuddur uh, and Podumbarwa's film and, uh, and, and there are lots of other films which have made a mark in Assamese cinema. Right, because see, uh, the legacy which Janu or Dr. Bhavindrana Hoike has created, there were filmmakers before him as well, as he has already said, yeah. Podum Burwa's Gonga Siloni Paki or Puberon, those were films which made a mark. Puberon was also screened in the Berlin International Berlin Film Festival. So uh, these kind of films have always been there. And since all the years, there have been extraordinary filmmakers and Janu Burwa's own films have been such good films, not just... Uh, uh, not just Halodia. Hal not just Hagorle Bohudur or uh, there's so many of his films which have done great uh, in all the festival circuits. So I think uh, Swarna Kamal cannot be the only yardstick, but yes, we feel extremely elated and happy that it has come to us after yeah. such a long time. Yes. Deep got it for his first uh, film. So these kind of things uh, encourage and motivate filmmakers, especially filmmakers and independent filmmakers. And let me tell you uh, that in Assam especially, there has been uh, the entry of a group of filmmakers, extremely talented and gifted filmmakers who have come to the fore and who are making films which are very, very, uh, today's new age. The, these, these films are very new age and with topics which are very contemporary and very relevant to Absolutely. the times we live yeah. in. So, yeah. and, and these films are also entertaining at the same time. For instance, even Deep's film Alifa is an extremely entertaining yet meaningful and uh, contemporary. Very true. Now, 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 now Jerifa, you see, after all, at the, at the end of the day, now we have seen an effort by entire governments in the Northeastern region to promote their respective states. We have seen people paying a hell of a lot of money to Bollywood film stars. We have Priyanka Chopra in Assam, we have John Abraham uh, pro projecting uh, Arunachal Pradesh, there is also a video circulating where Salman Khan himself Himself is promoting Arunachal Pradesh. So these are money, uh, I mean, spent heavily. But my question to you is, don't you think that these are the real, our filmmakers can also be the real ambassadors for this region? Therefore, the government has a role, as Janu Barwa was saying. Absolutely. It's like it's not a rocket science not to know the problems. Actually, it is the market. We require a bigger market for our films because first of all, besides winning an award or getting a recognition outside, it is very important for the filmmakers to, you know, continue with their works yeah. and that they can do it only when they get a proper you know, platform or the market to show their cinema. Absolutely. Until and unless we don't reach out to our own people because we are alienating the people from their own culture and literature and cinema. And Absolutely. that's how some of the people are so heavily, you know, illiterate when it comes to their own language, their culture and their cinema. So cinema has a big role to play in motivating the general people through cinema to get connected to their own language and literature and their art form. So it's the True. lack of cinema halls, lack of theatres in the in the state because Assam is Lack a very big big state and we need more cinema yes. halls and uh, that is we how the business will absolutely. increase Absolutely, we'll talk more, that's a very important point investors. you are making Zarifa, we'll, we'll discuss more on this issue of how we can make our films reach to the mass audience. Uh, Deep, uh, I mean your film Alifa was a very unique film in the sense that it was a saga of human wildlife conflict and that is just one of the themes you tried to deal with your, it was a niche kind of a film and you were noticed in your very first venture. My question to you, how difficult is it is for a filmmaker, independent filmmaker like you, to make a film uh, and with so, so much of limited uh, uh, exhibition opportunities? Uh, it was indeed very difficult. I mean, uh, and I, I won't say that it's a very needs film. I would r rather say that uh, I, when I, you know, plan to make this film, I, you know, I, I plan to make a good film. So, Awad was not in my mind yeah. and, you know, my... Uh, what was in my mind was that uh, to you know to get love of every class of people i mean so and uh, when we get award i mean uh, we get inspiration so award shouldn't be the yet sick that i would say but uh, i'm ag agreeing with janu Burwa, sir but with award we get inspirations to make more good films so you know if it is regard regarded in in a certain platform that right. you have made a very good film absolutely so we get inspiration and a lot of people a lot of youngsters also get inspiration from that absolutely yes, i uh, think uh, he really had a lot of problem in releasing in film yeah, yeah, his course. film and so we should actually yeah. you know, <laughs> you, know uh, you should share with us in, so in that the time of releasing i mean it happens mm. with every other film every asmis filmmaker yeah, asmis filmmaker mm. we had to sit you know distributions uh, distributors office 
and literally we had to call every other you know uh, uh, anybody who, who has some yeah. influence anybody who has influence so yeah. it was a very why very should you uh, my question is we'll discuss this why should you beg for your firm to be uh, to yeah, be this is telecast? really pathetic this is ridiculous, I mean, if a, this is absolutely yeah. ridiculous unacceptable we will discuss on this because every filmmaker you make a film then you are at the mercy of the exhibitors yes, who yes. are only interested in releasing the Bollywood films why can't our state governments do anything why can't the state government uh, make a film policy that is absolutely give protection to our films and the producers we'll talk we'll have a full section on that I'll have to go for a break but before the very quickly, uh, Ningthausa Lansa, another filmmaker, uh, is uh, of repute, a very, very well known filmmaker, very sensitive filmmaker with me in uh, in Imphal. Uh, Ningthausa Lansa, welcome uh, to Northeast Live. Individual filmmakers from the Northeast are doing extremely well, but what does cinema from the Northeast need to make it real big in the national stage? And of course, uh, I will have to ask you questions about village rock stars a little later, but first of all, this question very quickly before I go for a break. Ningtoza. Okay, the main thing is that uh, most of the independent filmmakers, they are doing in their own way. We are making films in our own way. But the main thing is that what I feel is that we need uh, some more, uh, we need to standardize our way of working, you know. I feel that uh, actually filmmaking is a group, uh, uh, this thing, endeavor. And so when we work, we need to have, uh, we need to at least uh, cooperate among the different people and different, uh, what you call, uh, personalities working in different departments. And so, in fact, in, Mani uh, so in Manipur and in Assam and everywhere, you see understanding and skill among this particular group of people is still lacking you know so yeah. i feel that uh, we need to uh, at least uh, specialize in our field and we need to stick to our sense of filmmaking Absolutely. we need not be we need not be confused whether most of the filmmakers in northeast i feel that they are so uh, they are most of our people including me we are in a wilderness we are in a wilderness sometimes we confuse whether we'll make a good film or sometimes we'll we'll go for this festival True. whether my whether i will make a film for uh, to win certain award or some awards or yeah. something like that you know but uh, yeah Absolutely. Uh, Ningtosa, hold on. On that note, we shall go for a short break now. Stay on, don't go away. When I come back, I shall go once again straight to Janu Barwa, with whom I have several other questions to ask. Hold on. Welcome back. Uh, we are in Northeast tonight discussing Northeastern films. Uh, I'll go straight once again to Janu Borwa. Uh, Mr. Janu Borwa, you know, uh, films from Assam and the rest of the Northeast do not have a level playing field vis-a-vis -vis big Bollywood releases. So how can we make our cinema a viable business proposition? You have, of course, said that, you know, this is a worrying factor and the state governments yeah. have a lot to do. This is uh, actually the film, uh, I mean, I can s tell you about it uh, from the film, film fraternity's point of view. Yeah. Uh, 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 say, uh, this is something actually we are, have been suffering from. That, uh, <coughs> after all, it's a business. The, all the distributors, all the producers, they look at it, look at it as business. And uh, I mean, it uh, uh, small films always become the victims. And uh, but somewhere uh, we need to do something about it, uh, so that parallelly uh, our industry also survives. There actually I, we have not been able to do much. Right. And that is where actually the state governments need to come forward to uh, extend support. Absolutely. Uh, state governments have a very important role to play there, Mr. Jan Janu Barwa. You have very rightly pointed out that fact. But what about collaboration as a way out? You know, collaboration between not just filmmakers or filmmakers uh, in Bollywood or for that matter, even filmmakers outside the region, uh, outside the country. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, collaboration always helps. 
collaboration and co-production, th there are many contents which can be developed uh, to make uh, <coughs> for uh, co-production, to make it co-production projects. Yeah. Uh, very strong uh, co-production projects. In fact, uh, I myself have been working on it, working on some such projects. Um, yeah, this is a very, uh, I mean, uh, a very <coughs> uh, important uh, factor. And then filmmakers need to uh, come out with such projects uh, so that they can collaborate with uh, other states or uh, uh, other countries uh, to have co-production. So True. that, you know, uh, reach becomes uh, broad, broader. True, true, true. Uh, Mr. Chandubara, please, uh, please be with us. Uh, I would like to go to Bobo. Uh, Bobo Khurizam, how challenging is it? For example, we, we have been asking Mr. Chandubara that reach, reaching out your films to a wider audience is a big challenge. Now, my question to you, uh, I mean, the Mete films or the Manipuri films, uh, particularly the films made in the Mete, uh, they, are, they are only watched in the Imphal Valley. Uh, my question to you, how can you make your films reach a wider audience or do you think it is not important at all? How are you looking at it? Yes, uh, there is no doubt about it that films should, be, should reach to wider audience. After all, films are made to reach out to audience. The larger audience, the better. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's very clear. Uh, in, in my state, uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, uh, theater, the culture of going to theater has dwindled down in this past few years. And, uh, True. Uh, but uh, as a very good effort taken up by the state government recently, uh, they have introduced uh, film screening uh, by weekends so, so that people could have to, uh, could develop you know the habit of going to the theaters and watch yeah. films uh, yeah. now uh, people mostly i think prefer to watch movies uh, in their uh, bedrooms or drawing rooms uh, which is uh, i don't know it's, a, it's an effect of the television uh, network I, I i'm not really sure about it but um, i think the culture of watching film together together in a theater has dwindled down which is really unfortunate so uh, we need to think about it we need to uh, you know, uh, make a step forward right. to make film reach out to more and more audience. Right. And Let me take the same. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me take the same question. Let me take the same question to Ningthoza. Uh, Ningthoza Lansa. I mean, how do you? I mean, how do you? The same question to you. How can you make a films uh, reach a wider audience? Because I'm talking to you from a point of view of uh, cinema in Manipur, for example, where of course the militants have banned Hindi cinema. I'm going to ask you this question later on, uh, but. How can you make your films reach a bigger audience? Uh, yeah, actually, this is not uh, distinct not only by the Maitis, the whole population of the state, we are enjoying the, whole, uh, the, the this, our cinema. But besides that, uh, it, it, is the, it is not a problem of the, with the audience, it is a problem with the filmmakers. When we uh, make a film in Manipur, okay, we are producing more than, say, in 2007, we produced more than 120 films per year, and now we are producing about 60 films per year. But the problem lies with the producers, problem lies with the filmmakers, because we concentrate mainly uh, with, the, with, the, with the most of the thematic contents, you know, centered around the Maite community. We never try to reveal the, uh, the stories of different communities, the stories of different ethnic groups besides Maite. Yeah. And moreover, uh, uh, when we make a film, actually we, we are so obsessed with uh, commercial purpose and we are so obsessed with the commodif commodification of the art. We are not considering about the seriousness and about uh, uh, what you call about the uh, what you call structure of the cinema or the texture of the cinema right. that everybody can enjoy. Absolutely. Now this is uh, my pan I, let me tell my panelists this is an open debate now. Anybody can come in even if I don't uh, request you to speak. Now, now, uh, now, Kapil, I mean, uh, commodification of films. Uh, that, that we are talking about how to make the film reach a wider audience. Is language a barrier? Uh, okay, the, the odd good films, uh, they get noticed because they get an award, because they are, they are viewed by a jury who are extremely competent people who have achieved everything in their career. So they can appreciate a film even if you make it in any language and put a subtitle. But what about the mass audience? Where are they getting an opportunity to see? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, is this a yardstick? Five people sit in that room, watch the movie and uh, give you the award? But the films which are being made and which have uh, got recognition nationally or internationally are films which are actually films 
which can be viewed by everyone in general. They are not just for a niche audience and they are not just niche films. For, I'm in constantly taking uh, Deep's uh, Alifa as an example. Yeah. Because Alifa, this is a film which is about the common man, the struggle of the common man and how he overcomes that struggle and what are the different hurdles which comes in his life. And these are things which are faced by every common man. His, the protagonist of his film was a daily wage labourer and his family. So a daily wage labourer can also go into the theatre and see this film and understand and empathise with the characters he Isn't sees on screen. Happened? Even it happened in those regions. Yes. Parpeta Dhubri, I released my film, and people, I mean, from from all uh, sphere of uh, society came came and watched the film, and they really liked it. I mean, you know, uh, that's where I realized. I mean, films are you know, a same film could be for 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 uh, juries and and at the same time could be for you know normal audience as and well. For instance, if an educated synagogue goes and watches Alifa, he'll be besotted with all yes, the yes. lovely frames, no. with yeah. a good storytelling. Got the point. Yes. But uh, Zarifa, my point, I also want to know, when I say outside audience, I'm not talking about Guwahati, Borpeta, or you uh, see, Asimov's film, it has to be viewed across Assam. Fine. My question is, how can our stories be told, taken to the rest of the country? Where, where, where do you think a subtitle is enough? You know, subtitle is enough because first of all, I would like to give the example of the in, uh, Indian and, film. And, and even if it is a subtitle, it will be in, it will be in English. In English. So, uh, I, I should take the example of uh, Mizoram uh, Indian Film Festival, the first time ever they made, they conducted a film festival and we saw that there were like lot of Hindi movies, three, four Hindi movies were there. Even Assamese film was there, my film Rag mm -hmm. was there. So, I could see the audience really enjoying the movies, yeah. you know, irrespective of the <laughs> language. The In fact, Aizol didn't have even a single theatre in the in the state. So in that case, you know, they they are coming forward to you know accept cinema yeah. as one of the art forms and which is very important. Bobo, for what's your take? Carry on, Ajay. Yeah. So that was very encouraging and we saw that they loved uh, the Hindi films, they loved even the Assamese film. I was there during the screening of my film. Similarly, what uh, Deep and Kapil is trying to say is that when a, a cinema is good, when a particular film is good, it, irrespective of the fact that it is it won an award or something, but when audience get to see it, first of all, they should get the opportunity to see it. That is what I'm saying. First of all, that the is, only thing that is, is that people saying. don't get the opportunity yes. to see it because we don't have sufficient yes, number yes. of yeah, cinemas. That is the point. Bobo, Bobo, that is the point I'm making. If you are listening to this conversation, and Bobo. Fact, some of the Assamese films are getting yeah, Carry on. Yes, Bobo. You want to say something? In in PVRs yes. and, uh, you know, because in the in some of the major cities, Bandhun got released. Yeah, we, in we fact, need to reach uh, out my to Rag, the yeah. film Rag got released and we had lovely audience. We have to understand yes. the and dynamics of the market. That's very, very true. But I think we have another bigger challenge that we have to face. That is the overarching uh, shadow of the uh, Bombay cinemas. There's a tendency to fall into the shadow, shadows of the Bombay cinema. Uh, if we really want to make mi meaningful cinema, we have to come out of the shadows of Bombay cinema and express ourselves in our own way through our through our own to our own cultural dialogue. I think that is the biggest challenge. Uh, so Rima Das has quoted that uh, uh, very frequently. She quoted that you should follow your dreams. You should fall in love with your dreams. At the same time, I would say you need courage to fall in love with your dreams. You need, you know, you need courage to come out from the clutches of the influence of the Bombay cinema. That's my take. And Come out from cinema. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something. Regional cinema, if it has to succeed, it has to fall back on its own literature, yes, on original story ideas. If you're aping uh, the the Bombay film industry, you're not going to succeed. For instance, I always take the example of Sairat, the Marathi film, yeah. which did landmark business across India. That film was based with caste culture and the caste problems <coughs> in Maharashtra. Yeah, and it was a huge success. Mm -hmm. So. All the cinema which has been successful in Assam till date, of all I know is that they are films which are seeped in our own culture. They cannot be films which are uh, direct copies or which have been aped from the Bombay. No, uh, no, so that's a, I, yeah. In this regard, I want to take the example of uh, Halodia Sorai Baudhan Khai. This, the last year in the Guwahati International Film Festival, Halodia Sorai Baudhan Khai was released. Yeah. I mean, was screened, Screen. and Janu Bora himself was there. And uh, you know, the audience was like a, a very young audience. You know, they were like 
from 18 to 25 years old and like 30 uh, I mean 80 yeah, percent audience were very young mm -hmm. and they loved the film they clapped at the right places yeah. they they were like silent at the right places so they were 30 years down laughing. the line yes. 30 years down the line it was having a same connect yes and Janu Bora was uh, Janu that was so very happy he said you know when I made this film you people were not even born yeah. and today you're liking the film are you really liking the film and they said we loved the film See, and yeah. they were like yeah. overwhelmed seeing hello dear sorai about and kai so this is what i want to say yeah. irrespective of the age irrespective of where whatever profession you are in then the common man will love cinema if they get an opportunity to watch it Absolutely. and if the particular cinema is good if that particular film, film is, is good, good. Uh, uh, deep there need to be as well uh, awareness uh, in respect of audience uh, as well yeah. because you know they they will have to grow a habit of uh, coming to theaters yeah. to see good cinema yeah yes. and uh, i mean we really cannot compete with bollywood even we try to do uh, because you know the kind of money they put into a project which is not yeah. uh, you know uh, uh, possible in our part mm -hmm. so we will right. you know regional cinema has a has its own characteristics and we will have to follow it and you know, if we talk about Indian cinema, in uh, you know, uh, in perspective of world cinema, uh, absolutely, uh, regional cinema has you know left uh, you know mark in world cinema. Yes. Absolutely. Not not Bollywood. Yes. Not so not, not, that, not. that is very important. So you know, we are we are actually ignoring ignoring the James over here, and we are you know Try we have been feeding <laughs> feeding. But like, ignoring yeah. the James in our own backyard and looking at uh, no, I, uh, no, things fact, outside. I should on a lighter note, I should uh, you know uh, tell you this because in uh, in in a you know uh, get together, I met a lady and she asked me why not Asimi Cinema? Why why you don't have a film where you are sim where you are cl wearing clothes like Ali? Bhatt and you know uh -huh. doing that I said yes I can definitely I love to do a dear zindagi if I ever get a chance to but um, like he says she said like you know uh, we don't see that kind of cinema in our in Assam I said did you watch this 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 but I took the name of some of very recent films which were which are like very good films and she said I'm so sorry I haven't watched mm -hmm. this is another thing you know so, somewhere so some we kind are, of a stereotyping yes some and kind so of ignorance, ignorance. Some that's kind ignorance. Of ignorance some kind and of an, then it's some kind <laughs> of a set prototype kind of a image which people have Absolutely. Uh, uh, I have to uh, mr. Janu Borwa once again I'd like to go to mr. Janu Borwa I cannot hold you on for long uh, mr. Janu Borwa I mean you know we have this activist policy uh, now my question to you uh, you, we have been discussing the role of the state government. The state government can do actually a lot by giving subsidies or coming up with cinema halls. But do you think uh, part of the act is policy, uh, the films uh, can also be put into because we are so close to some of the fastest growing Asian tiger economies uh, in our neighborhood. Do you think there can be collaborations, Mr. Janu Borwa? See, when we say about collaboration, collaboration, we have to be careful as well. Because see, cinema, yeah, I mean, the, it is connects to uh, socio-cultural uh, aspect. The content must not be destroyed. The content must be unique. It's a creative process. Uh, so uh, collaboration means actually that another, you know, suppose say I'm, a ma I'm making a, f uh, I might be making a film and uh, based on uh, it's a, uh, a story from Assam. Yeah. But I am getting a collaboration from other state and which is supporting that project. Right? It's not that you know they're trying to mix up, trying to mix, mix it and uh, half from them, half from us. It's not like that. It doesn't work because it's a content has to be very, very unique. It has to, it is, it's a, uh, <coughs> Uh, it has connection with social cultural aspects so filmmaker must not be put into such pressure uh, to compromise on that and uh, uh, when you come out uh, come up uh, with say uh, uh, pro uh, say contents like that there are very strong contents in our uh, region itself uh, historical yeah, that's what uh, social, we have been discussing uh, all these uh, contents are there and then filmmakers need to explore that which can be made global uh, and bringing in collaboration, co <coughs> collaborated efforts. Filmmakers needs to have very good uh, content which we have in our own backyard and try to make it uh, gl uh, global. Uh, I'll come to you, uh, Deep. 
uh, I, I mean, before I let you go, Mr. Janu Borua, uh, lastly, of course, Swarna Kamal uh, to, to village rock stars. I know you have said that uh, you should not judge cinema only by the awards, but at the, but yeah. we cannot deny the fact that uh, village rock stars getting the Swarna Kamal has come at the right time and can give a huge boost to cinema, not just in the Sam, but in the entire region, isn't it? Mr. Janu Borua. Oh, sure, yeah, it, it does, it does. Uh, although, uh, uh, I mean, the, personally, a filmmaker must not uh, take award to, I mean, the, to one's head. Uh, it should not uh, yeah. uh, destroy the filmmaker. It should inspire the filmmaker to make it, make it I mean, better, <coughs> better films in future. So that way, it's a very inspiring thing. That it all depends on how the filmmaker uses that, utilizes that award. And uh, I would say that you know that uh, although we keep saying you know 31 years or 30 years uh, gap, uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, that uh, I would say that uh, uh, it is quite late. Uh, in fact, it should have. I mean, there uh, quite a few Shona Kamal should have come to Assam. In my own assessment, true. See, uh, uh, <coughs> was Peer, I just want to add something. Awards are uh, see that way. It is uh, not very important factor for a filmmaker. Should not be, because yeah, after all, it depends on the uh, uh, kind of jury you have. Uh, yeah. It depends on certain people, a few people who are in the jury. And if, they, if there is a different That's jury, the point I had and made. It, the whole decisions could be changed. So that also t takes place. So that's why I'm saying that a filmmaker must not take an award, uh, whether it's a Shwarna Kamal or, Shil I mean, the, uh, uh, say, uh, uh, Silver Lotus. Uh, one should not take it seriously. What he or she should take seriously, that he should be, uh, I mean, his creative process what he wants to create, he or she wants to create, right. and that do it without any compromise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't take the award seriously, but take the creative process extremely seriously. That is the parting words of Mr. Janubora. Mr. Janubora, thank you very much uh, for being on uh, notice tonight. Thank you very much for your time. I'd like to uh, tell viewers that Mr. Janubora will be leaving the program at this point in time. It's, it's deep. Uh, you are basically uh, saying that, do you agree? He's made a very, very critical point. Filmmakers don't take the awards seriously. Uh, uh, it is a few jury members there. Decisions can change, but take your creative process extremely, extremely seriously. Deep. Yes, of course I do, because uh, you know, uh, if I if I say about myself, I mean I I never thought of getting an award. I mean, uh, though it, it's a process. I mean, every serious filmmakers you know send their films to festivals because you know festival is not only a platform to get give you an award. Festival is a market uh, yeah. also. So for wider audience, for world audience. So that is also very important because, you know, now now that with with uh, you know digitization of film, so you can you know take your film to world platform. I mean, the, yeah. uh, you know, worldwide distribution is also possible for our SME cinema also, as well. So for that purpose, I mean, uh, yes, uh, I would like to uh, you know uh, take uh, Sir Zanu uh, one comment on uh, collaboration. So, you know, with my film, particularly, I tried that thing. I mean, uh, so from, from the... Uh, Collaboration know, within the country or outside? No, with the, within the country. Within the country, okay. So because, you know, I, I took uh, artists from uh, Bengal and crews from Bengal. I edited my film in Bengal and I to, uh, did my music in Bengal. So I took, uh, you know, uh, crews, uh, rest of the crews from here. Actors were from so why here. why did you do that? What, what, what benefit because did you get? Uh, because I was uh, looking for a you know, wider market, Bang okay. because Bengal is a very, uh, very potential market. But your film was in both the languages, Assamese and Bengali, isn't it? Yeah, uh, though it's not, not, uh, not, uh, uh, you know, perfectly Bengali, because uh, it's a dialect of Bengali, which is spoken here in Assam, right. you know, in lower Assam area, you must be knowing, Mamen Singh, uh, Mia, yes. that we call it. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, because of, not, because not having the recognition of that language, we had to, you know, uh, get certification in Bengali. So, and we released the film in Bengal and they couldn't realize that it's not a Bengali Absolutely. film. Absolutely. And we realized the same <laughs> film over here with the same language. And they, they haven't realized that yeah. this is a Bengali film. Yeah, yeah. So whoever watched, nobody realized, you know, 
after watching the film they they asked me that you know what type of language this is because this is not you know uh, pure bengali so you know what part of uh, assam it, it it's been spoken so, so it, 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 that it way, generated that way, a lot of curiosity curiosity of course Absolutely. they were they were uh, writing uh, a lot uh, of uh, they generated a lot of curiosity. Yeah. Uh, quickly, uh, uh, Bobo, I'm coming to you, but uh, Ningthosa, uh, you know, I was asking this question a little while back, whether we like it or not, whether there is any justification or not, uh, you know, but we well as consider the Northeast as one entity. By the same logic, uh, you know, do, is there a case, is, do you think the state government in the region should do something, come up with a category of films called Northeast cinema and then promote it? Mr. Janubarwa said it's not a good idea. Mr. Yeah, Mr. that is what I am dreaming for because I work in so many films. I, I have I have already done in Mizoram. I actually I am the DP in Mission China. I am the I, I work in uh, this Hondi Khan Assamese movie, and I work as a music director in Monjai. And uh, uh, since 1988, I have started uh, to join hands with so many Assamese filmmakers since 1988. Even at that time, I went to Tinsukia and I tried to bring out such uh, endeavor. But the main thing is that understanding between the filmmakers and the writers, uh, cine writers, uh, we, we need to, uh, to bring certain kind of understanding, which kind of cinema we, we should bring together. Like this uh, Jubin's uh, Mission China, I was very much there. I love that film and we went to the Himalayan, uh, most of the snowy mountains of Himalaya and we shoot, you know. So as I feel, you know, you see the success of Mission China lies because, lies with that particular endeavor. And then uh, regarding other films, you know, like uh, Maniram's uh, Monjai and then Hondi Kong and, then Hondi Kong, and, later, even, and later even one of the actresses, yeah. Don Toy, even acted in one of the Assamese movie, which already I, I heard, that, yeah. True, true, true. Uh, but you know what? Yes, couple. Uh, all of us are fighting our own battles. We have our own battles in all the states. And here also, when we think of making an Assamese film, right from the point where you do the screenplay and getting the, the financiers to find the backup yeah. your film, there are lots of struggles which we are fighting at home, yeah. in the home front itself. So uh, every individual, every filmmaker from the Northeast have their own individual battles to fight to you know, sort out a lot of things before they can make the film, before the film go, go, goes to the floors and before, finally when but it is released. How, how, how long can you keep fighting? That's, that's the key so question. The, no, the, the question now is not a collaboration. Now we should think, because a uh, new set of filmmakers have come, I think they make films with such superior quality. I think uh, they should no longer be fi filmmakers from the Northeast or filmmakers. Mm -hmm. They should be Indian filmmakers. Indian filmmakers. Yes. Bobo, it's a very, Kapil Bora is saying that you know, we have to struggle, the filmmakers from Northeast have to struggle right from the first stage, that is, uh, you know, finding a financier and so on. Now, they should, they are so talented people, they should consider themselves as Indian filmmakers and look at the whole country as their market or the playing field. That's possible, isn't it? Why not? Bobo. Yes, yes. Uh, allow me to add, I, I, uh, we should say, why not, in the, why not international filmmaker? We, we should consider ourselves as you know, beyond, beyond the country, beyond the boundary, and say, we are filmmakers who can make films at international level. So we are international filmmakers. Uh, I would also add that the scenario is more bleak, uh, more particularly uh, for the documentary filmmakers. Uh, I mean, tonight we've been talking about feature films, but we haven't talked about documentary as such, because, uh, you know, documentary, uh, I, 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 I made my own films. It was funded by my... Uh, my own family. Uh, so this struggle, uh, the documentary uh, uh, filmmakers are facing this, the same struggle that we are facing right now. Uh, we need more and more state patronage. Uh, state patronage. Uh, we should not wait for, you know, uh, state patronage. Yes. State patronage. Uh, Ningtoza, role of state government. Ningtoza, role of state government. What do you think? Because uh, uh, Bobo is saying that, you know, state patronage is extremely necessary. But the state will not be doing us a favor or the film industry a favor. They should do it, actually. Yes, yes. Actually, the main thing is that Assam government is doing, doing very well regarding promotion and development of cinema in Assam. And Manipur also is doing something, but it's, it's still lacking, you know, because here hardly they can, they, you see in Assam, they can, 
invest more than 2,000 crore, 1,600 crore for the project in Mongoldai. I heard about that, so we are so happy. But in, in Meghalaya, especially in Manipur uh, and uh, other states like Mizoram. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will come to you. I think we have got a slight technical snag. Anyway, uh, Jerifa, I mean, uh, you know, state patronage. But uh, state patronage, why should the film industry beg the state uh, for support? Why can't uh, the support come automatically? That is my point. There has been a lot of discussions going on regarding that, and we were like proposing Aren't for. Aren't we uh, hearing yeah? about this discussion since, from the last uh, yeah, many years? Many ages. years, like ages, ages now, <laughs> since the time I joined the uh, SME Cinema. And in fact, yes, uh, I want to just uh, say this because uh, this is an important art form, and it is a very serious business. Yeah. You know, it's 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 an entertainment for the audience, but it is also so important for any culture to preserve its cinema because yeah. through cinema you see your culture, you see the different stages or ages of the society, you know, the involvement, the way the society is evolving. So, th this is very important for Absolutely. anything, any now, change in the society, now, cinema now, is now, so now, important. Now, true. Uh, now, Kopil, you see, Assam has, for take the case of Assam, 15 lakh unemployed, educated, registered. So, you mean unregistered? You can imagine, I don't know what is the figure. Now, 15 lakh, if the government supports the film industry, it is like generating some employment for uh, self employment for the people. Of course, and the thing is that whichever civilization, whichever government gives impetus and importance to sports and culture, I think those are the places, those are the cultures which are going to. Uh, go ahead in times. Absolutely. Otherwise, yeah. that generation will falter and fall and trip mm -hmm. and they'll never go for ahead in life. Mm -hmm. You know, the government, every people have to give, right from the primary level, have to give importance to impetus to sports and culture. Very, very important. Bobo? You can't even preserve Bobo? your own language. Uh, uh, deep See, yeah. how, role of the state government. Why are they not coming See, forward? Yeah. Why, they, why should there be pressure? Uh, there's a there's a talk going on. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know much know about it, but still, I, I said that the government has shown a positivity in, in towards, recent years, yeah, yes. towards cinema. But uh, you know, it's it's a very long process, I would say, and yeah. it, it's a possible. It's possible. It uh, see, all, all the things should go, you know, together. Not not just you know financing, uh, you know, state-sponsored films will, you know, yeah. uh, do a, you know, yeah. uh, you know, no do something. Mm -hmm. That will not happen, uh, you know. That awareness, that theater, you know, theater, yeah. making building theaters in yeah. uh, different places, and the awareness is very important. I mean, I I, I was suggesting uh, this thing that uh, you know, if we could you know um, include cinema as an art form in in schools, yeah. so that could be a brilliant mm. idea. In that case, you know, in fifteen years, you can you, appreciate you can, films. Yes, in fifteen years down the line, you can see a you know wider audience. Yeah. You know who are uh, cinematically very uh, aware. Uh, fant fantastic so, point made by Deep Chaudhary there. Introduce art, uh, 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 introduce cinema, as an, cinema as an art form in schools, School and in that need not yeah. make all of them filmmakers, but that will make them at least appreciate yeah. films, There's cinema art goers. Art like, uh, ten years I, down the line, I don't have to face a lady who would ask like, you know, can we not have a film yes. by like uh, you know Alia Bhatt's film, whereas oh, she has not yes, got so absolutely. many good Assamese absolutely. films. Absolutely, let us almost. 20 films maybe and let us, not watch let us hope that good. Assam shows the way let us hope that Assam shows the way Assam introduces film as a course in schools so that at least if all of them don't become filmmakers that is at least they become film goers on that note we we'll go for another short break stay on we'll be right back Welcome back, uh, Mr. Ningthosa Lancha. You know, it has been long uh, since uh, the militants have launched a ban uh, on Hindi films in Manipur and a ban is still in force for whatever reasons. Uh, as a filmmaker, how do you look at it? The ban on Hindi films in Manipur, Mr. Ningthosa. No, actually, uh, actually we miss we miss so much after the banning of the Hindi film. You see, we miss Dangal, we miss Medicom. You know, actually, 
uh, art should not have any kind of national biasness, nationality biasness actually we feel you know. Art is art, everybody should enjoy. Okay. There are certain art form which try to, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, become a propaganda film or something. For that matter, it is different. But as a filmmaker, I do feel that sometimes I, I watch, yeah, I watch Hindi movies, I watch Dangal, I love it like anything. And you, you see, we need to uh, to interact and we need to exchange and share our our ideas, you know, with the mainland Indian Indian filmmakers and Nordic filmmakers. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, Kapil, I mean, this is a very funny thing, isn't it? Uh, you impose a ban on Hindi films. The ban is followed uh, as if it is law. Uh, and no one from the Hindi film industry also has gone over to Manipur and tried to sort of, you know, seriously uh, talk to people and say that, why are you doing this? Leave the ban. So, uh, how are you looking at it? I mean, why should, first of all, why should the insurgent groups uh, clamp a ban? And secondly, why should not anyone make any effort to get the ban lifted. So it's gone, it's on. Uh, yeah, you want yeah, to say? I have something to say on a very personal experience because you know, this ban and other things happen only when people are uh, facing some difficulties to that extent and after that we become intolerant. For instance, when we release an Assamese film and when there is a bigger film coming from, um, I, I mean Bollywood, so-called Bollywood, then we tend to remove the Assamese film despite the fact that the film is doing good. It happened to our film, Rag, because it was doing so good and and only because they had to release Gunde and uh, Rag was removed from the theatre and it happened to so many films like local Kung Fu because uh, commercially it was doing so well so, in the theatre. So point. this is the reason why yeah, these local think, bands uh, Do you come. think Kapil, be, uh, local groups are imp um, forced to actually clamp such kind of bands because the government is not uh, uh, no, providing any not. security they're, or they're coming up with any kind of a policy to protect the interest yeah. of the local no filmmakers. No matter how is it that? Fil film is good or bad, I think the yeah, government that's a very important. Even if the film some is kind doing. of a protection. We can't say some films are no, good or bad. No, same is the case with yeah. Mission China, you know. The film was doing well, even then it had to be off from the halls. Yeah, but see, uh, since time immemorial, ancient times, art and culture needs patronage. Yeah. There's no two ways about it. You cannot even, question even that. Even the court of the kings, uh, they yeah, used to patronize uh, the art yeah, and culture. There was the Tansen, court poets, yeah, the court musicians. musicians. Yeah. So even Tansen needed patronage mm -hmm. at that point of time. So patronage is very, very important. It's sports and culture, they, it needs patronage. And regional cinema is not backed by a huge market. For instance, yeah. I can't talk about Manipuri cinema as very, very intelligently, but when it comes to Assamese cinema, I can say that we cater to just the Brahmaputra Valley. So our market is very small. It boils down to all money. So within the Brahmaputra Valley, we'll have to have theatres where we will get good timings to screen our cinema. Yeah. So if we don't get times, the good proper shows to show yeah. our cinema, then there has to be a protest somewhere to get our rights. Uh, let so. me let me go to Bobo. Bobo, how are you looking at it? You know, uh, uh, Ningtoza said that you, oh yes, we have missed many good films. But the point is, do you think that the, the, the uh, whoever group, local groups, let's not say insurgents, let's say local groups are forced to clamp these bands because the government does not come up with any kind of a protection uh, or look after the interest of the local filmmakers. Is it that or is it something else? Uh, sorry, my line got uh, sorry, my line got disconnected uh, a few moments back. Okay, so. uh, uh, no, what we were basically we I were basically discussing the ban on Hindi films in Manipur ba, uh, for for a very long time. Uh, now, now they, our, one of our panelists said that if the government does not give protection to the local filmmakers, if the local filmmakers cannot screen their films and big big budget Bollywood films, uh, you know, take the entire space and time. Uh, so local groups will have to do resort to something like clamping a ban. Do you think is it that or is it something else, Bob, Bobo? Uh, the, the scenario is rather complex, I should say, and uh, uh, I would rather not comment on this because it's a very complex issue here because we have so many groups who are operating here and it's not an individual, but it's a collective ban by the umbrella organizations and insurgents. So it's really dicey to say what we should uh, do or what we should not do. But, uh, but we should have hope, I think. We should keep on working and we should uh, you know, press upon the state government to uh, you know, 
Absolutely. Help us I, out I, in either financially or in I appreciate. I appreciate uh, the difficulties. I appreciate the reason maybe have their own distinct problems That's like what I the said. we have uh -huh. all our own the battles to fight the battles to, to fight fights. yeah so it's like the ban happened because you know when you're not uh, you know you're do disregarding your own uh, cinema you're disregarding your own language yes. because yeah. this is being illiterate in your own language and own literature and that's why the they're ban, after you ban cannot bring you know good things yeah. for for original cinema because no, we have yeah. seen it in uh, assam also in 90s as alpha yeah. banned uh, you know hindi uh, films Destroyed us, rather. Des destroyed the theaters. I mean, it yeah, uh, you know, yeah. you know, halls were so clo closed down. down. Yeah. Close so down. you know, we c in that context, I mean, I would uh, you know, in, in Kapil's Kapil has raised a very f uh, good uh, point here. Uh, government patronage. I mean, in that case, we can take uh, Marathi film industry good model. Yeah. Good yeah. policy. That, policy. That is what Bob also said. So, government yeah. patronage is extremely has necessary. To no, it has to they, be compassionate no, yeah. towards Ning, 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 Ningtoza, Ningtoza, you know, uh, Assam is the largest producer of films in the northeastern region. Uh, we, there are absolutely no halls. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, uh, people, uh, the big, uh, the, the chain uh, halls, you know, like the PVRs and others are only interested in big budget uh, whole screening big Bollywood releases every week. Uh, so the government patronage, as Bob was saying, is extremely important. Yeah, that's what we are doing here. You see, in Manipur, actually, I don't know about Assam, we are producing about 60 films per year. Okay. Uh, I don't know which one is producing more. But the main thing is that in Assam, uh, my friends are working, you see, for uh, this, uh, you, what you call gold cinema or something, you know. So uh, you have that gold cinema. And here in Manipur also we are trying. But the main thing is that we don't have enough uh, theatres nowadays. All the theatres are closing, you know. And so, uh, uh, like in Assam, we need to concentrate, you know, how to connect our cinema with the common masses. And how, yeah, and, and uh, what should be the space, you know. It may be a theater, it may be a mobile theater, or a mobile theater, or a mobile theater, or having mobile theater in a cell. Like that, you know, what should be the medium, what should be the uh, space through which we can connect with our own audience, with our own synagogues, yeah. How to connect. Now, what about collaborations? I was asking this question. Uh, someone said that, why not? There has to be, I think Bob said, there has to, we should think about global collaborations. What, what are your thoughts? Ningtoza. Yes, it's a good idea. But the main thing is that, you know, we have got so many presses for the filmmakers in Manipur. We have got, we are, we are pressurized, you know. And so uh, we can try, we can try still, but because we do have very good stories and Bollywood is uh, really confusing, you know, now they are also uh, in quest, you know, for good stories, good scripts. And North is, is very abundant, you know, we have got different varieties of stories maybe comedy, maybe yeah. drama, maybe action, you know. So we can do so many good films here. And for that, we need uh, to bring certain projects. We need to collaborate, uh, not only uh, mainland India, but we need to collaborate with di different countries. Because you know, we, we need to collaborate to with, it, like yeah. Kung Fu Zoga, like Jackie Chan. You know, we need to collaborate. <laughs> like with, we can Chan. collaborate with Korea, Japan, yeah. or uh, this thing, Taiwan, or we can collaborate with Iran. Any, any country we can Absolutely. collaborate with. Absolutely. Nice. The I world is the global, yes, uh, dream. yeah. I mean, because we yeah. need to, uh, you know, uplift our quality. Yeah. Yes, quality is very on, important. On, on fir first note. So that is very important. I mean, I don't think that the quali films we are producing from here, from North East, is from that, you know, that category quality that we can... No, 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 Hussain, let me tell you, before, before I come to you, uh, Kapil, Adil, Hus Adil Hussain was, one of, uh, was uh, on one of my programs. He said that we are always complaining. That's what I think Deep was saying. We are always complaining that people don't come, Asmis people don't come and see the Asmis films. But you have to also see the quality. I'm not generalizing. We cannot generalize. There are top quality Asmis films coming and they are getting their due recognition in the national stage. But what about the average Asmis films? Why are going, yes. people going to come and see them? <coughs> Why should I go and spend three hours? It's not a question of 100 rupees or 200 rupees. More important for me is the time. Uh, yes, and for instance, uh, when you're talking about collaboration, I just want to mention a very nice collaboration which has happened with uh, Shana Balam's East Delhi Entertainment and Priyanka Chopra's Purple Pebbles, which has produced Bhoga Kiriki, which is Janu Borua's uh, next film, which is coming up, which has Zarifa Wahid in the main uh, protagonist's character. Seema Bishas is also there. Yeah. So that is happening. There's another uh, Hollywood production which is coming up. 
by Easterly Entertainment, Shana Balam again. So uh, these kind of films are happening. And it's such a great thing that it's happening beginning with Janu Borwa. Absolutely. Uh, Jennifer, when is Bhoga Khir Khirki releasing? It's releasing this year. Uh, roughly? Uh, I think towards the end of the year by October. Bhoga Khirki is releasing in October, viewers. That is what uh, is the breaking news at this point in time. Uh, uh, as Kapil said, it's a collaboration uh, between... There's it's a Hollywood a collaboration with Janabura doing, which is called uh, Unwritten Pages. Unread Pages. Unread Pages, which is... Unread Pages. Which is an English <laughs> film. Yeah. So, uh, Pogakiriki is a collaboration between Purple Pebble Pictures and Easterly Entertainment. Yeah. So, Purple Pebble Pictures and East Daily Entertainment. Entertainments. Okay, so these are, uh, we'll wait for that uh, film of yours to come. So collaboration makes sense, uh, uh, Jerifa. <laughs> it does because, uh, we know, they are also taking the responsibility for the marketing of the film outside Assam, outside India. So we are going to have an abroad marketing as well. So it helps, you know, because with their expertise, and in fact, Easterly Entertainment is also a production house uh, officiating from Mumbai, but now they are like, concentrating in Assam and they want to take all the uh, stories from this region, from the Northeast region to the world outside. So they are primarily focusing on stories and, from uh, this well, part of India. Directors yeah. also. I yeah. would like to yeah. add one thing in, in, from, from the perspective of marketing. So, you know, with these kind of collaboration, what ha happens for good is that, you know, uh, you know, those who are qualified people, they come on board to market your film. So that is very important. Here, the concept is like, the director has to do marketing everything, as well. Everything, yeah. Everything. That's so so sad. That, yes. that, that, that's very sad. Director is not yes, the person so to be burdened with marketing. You cannot, cannot be jack of all trades. Yes. You are already yes. jack of all trades yes. directing, yeah, directing, yeah. directing yeah. a film. You cannot be yes. burdened with the yes, yes, responsibility of marketing. No, 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 that, no. That's a poor side of uh, SME's film, I would no, say. No, because absolutely. there are a lot that's of talented very, people very, very who are doing, uh, you know, who has done but MBAs if, in films uh, and If you know, we films produce, and next time you will be relieved of that part. We <laughs> <laughs> assure you that. So, there is a, a, a collaboration <laughs> taking place right <laughs> in the Northeast Live Studios on Northeast so Tonight Show. Live TV. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 I can't go Jennifer back on my and Deep are discussing possible <laughs> collaborations and Kapil is not going to be a silent spectator. I'm sure <laughs> he is also going to be. So, uh, viewers, don't be surprised if you hear an announcement about some kind of <laughs> a collaboration. <laughs> between this uh, trio sitting here at this point in time. But uh, Kapil, you see, uh, when, when, when uh, novelists from the Northeast, writers, their books are public, published by big, uh, you know, big ticket uh, publishers, Penguin, and, and you name it, uh, you know, they are there. So why can't films uh, be, pub be, be, be produced by big banner producers? and with stories that have a bearing across the country. So do you think that is possible or do you think that is also asking for too much? No, no, that is not at all asking for too much. That's what's happening with Bhaga Khirki, you yeah. see. Yeah. And uh, we in Assam uh, are very, very, very rich as far as literature is concerned. We have extremely good film, uh, short stories, novels and novelists. And these uh, stories and short stories have a great potential for becoming good cinema absolutely i mean this Ab the problem is that we don't read assamese literature anymore yes. we absolutely. don't buy books we don't buy novels i always I am, tell new I filmmakers am, that buy you read books read now, books buy books uh, yeah. that is the message coming from Kopil there <laughs> uh, stories abound uh, i'm running absolutely short of time uh, ningthosa village rock stars was the trigger for this discussion today what are your thoughts ningthosa Yeah, after Januda, actually after Januda's movie, uh, this uh, Hello Dear Sora, yeah, Hello, Hello Dear Sorae, Baudan Kai, actually we are expecting so much from the filmmakers of the Nordis and after a long gap, at least we, we, we distinct add another feature on our calf, you know, in the Nordis cinema. We don't take it as an Assamese awesome cinema. So salute to Rimadas. Actually, I have seen uh, cl uh, clips, certain uh, small, small clips of the film. It's, it's totally the visuals are so dense, you know. I love the visuals. I love the way she choreographed. I love the situation, the floods and everything, you know, how cool. she portray Assam in, 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 a, in a very real, uh, what you call a naturalistic way. Absolutely. And so we love it. We love it. And it is one of the best and historically it, it will be one of the milestone in the cinema of the Northeast as milestone a Milestone in Northeastern cinema. Bobo, 
What are your last words, Bobo? Yes, I have said uh, in the beginning, uh, uh, village rock, rock star is rocking the nation. I would say let's let's keep on rocking. Uh, we got to go a long way, uh, but let's walk together hand in hand. Rock together. Let's rock together. That is the parting words from Bobo Khoraizam. Yes, Deep. Uh, I would say that you know we need to keep on making honest films, and uh, we shouldn't compromise with our creativity. We shouldn't you know in, in look when looking for for the market. We shouldn't you know. Uh, you know, lose absolutely, our creativity. Absolutely. So that's what we can do. Make at least. honest films. Yeah. Don't lose your creativity, Jerifa. I want to sum up whatever I have listened. First, you you should depend on your own literature uh, and uh, go deep into your literature, and you'll find beautiful stories to tell to the world. Where we can take the stories from the northeast to the entire world, absolutely. and we need to have a bigger market in our own region, so that people of our own region should be able to see their True. own cinema. Yeah. And it is not just the world audience we should be catering to. We should be connected to our own people. They should see yeah. our own films, appreciate them, and be aware of their own language, literature, Delve and culture. into your literature, and you will come up with really, really Sorry. stories that can click and have an international or a national appeal. Kapil, your last words. The last thing I would like to say is that cinema is a visual medium. So all the great directors who have come into cinema, who are making cinema, don't forget that and make your frames beautiful. So that uh, even if you mute the volume, even if you don't know it's an Assamese or a Manipuri film, with whatever film, uh, people should say that, wow, what a great frame. I'm absolutely. sure it's a great film. Absolutely. That is why people say that cinema has absolutely no language. On, on that note, I end this extremely interesting discussion. Of course, course triggered by our very own film village rock star by Rima Das winning the Swarnakamal or the Golden Lotus and bringing in glory through the entire Northeastern cinema. Ladies and gentlemen, on this note, I end this edition of Northeastern Night. I thank each and every one of my panelists. Good night and goodbye.